Welcome back to Probably Nothing, the IOTO news of the last few days. I'm Alexander, finally bought Soon and Shimmer and now waiting for good opportunities to spend them. The first one is Siemens and they call for new ideas to lower the footprint with CO2 while everything should be sustainable. Some questions should be answered, for example how to show such investors how sustainable a project is or even to tokenize projects. This call from Siemens is not directly about IOTA, but you can submit proposals based on IOTA. After all, there are cash prizes of 10,000 euro. So get one on the computer and help Siemens understand that IOTA can solve their problem at all levels. Dom tweets an interesting tweet. Toshiba Europe is exploring P2P energy based on IOTA. For example, it can give microgrind generators a 166% advantage of average and consumers a 6.3% advantage per watt per hour, traded in the grind connected scenario. In addition, there is talk of high efficiency as energy is better distributed. Let's also stay with papers for a moment. Muandelo found a new patent where IOTA is mentioned. The whole thing was filed by Intel and describes power control mechanisms for workload processing system and in particular on power control technologies on multiply levels. Speculation is not the topic here, but several solutions show small glimpses into something that can probably be expected soon. As they write themselves, it could be anything but nothing. Mesh Plus we have heard before, now there's a rebranding. Mesh Plus is digitizing to chirp. You can now get on the waiting list to be the first to buy a miner to interact with the network. According to the operators, IOTA still means to be a solution. But if the IOTA foundation is too slow, they won't wait for us and will look for other protocols. The link to sign up is below in the description. At the same time there is a blog article on Medium, at the same time there is a blog article on Medium about the innovations. Also the name with the first specifications was shown, Blackbird. Oh no, what is that? Is it a bird? Is it the airplane? No, it's a giveaway. You're sitting in front of the screen right now with nothing to wear. Spend your last shirt on Shimmer. Perfect. Here's your chance to win a 50% code for a cool Moron t-shirt. Plus the matching NFT and even AR. All you have to do is post a comment with hashtag IOTA, hashtag Shimmer and two winners will be featured in the next episode. Patreon and YouTube members can be happy they have an increased chance to win. Bombastic news is also available from E-Class. They presented the first AAS registry. There is a proof of concept of the website. AAS stands for Asset Administration Shell and can be used to describe machines, components and services digitally and in a standardized way and to show how they are linked. The IOTA Tangle is used for the purpose. Last week they were also updated for Tangle Pay and the Firefly Wallet again. Thus the Firefly Wallet for Shimmer is available in version 201. In the big the update only deals with bug fixes and introduction of aliases. Tangle Pay is now available in version 146 and includes numerous improvements with Shimmer such as claiming tokens and microtransactions. Let's stay with Firefly Wallet for a moment. The team has reintroduced an update plan for October and is currently focusing on the integration on NFTs. So in the first step you can send and receive NFTs and view the transaction. In the second update a new tab will be introduced called collection where you can see and manage all your NFTs. Actually the dynamic recognition should be introduced but this feature will come later because improvements have to be made here. EVM is also about to be released. As for the mobile app they are working delightfully there as well. As a last point they mentioned the staking of assembly because the end is approaching. As with the last time there will be a new update with the start of the new round. This gives us immediately the occasion to look at the new assembly numbers. 934 million assembly were distributed. There are about 3 days left for the current round. Let's move to the Soon Labs and Sooniverse. Soon Labs, TanglePay and IOTA B form one of the largest alliances and partnerships in the IOTA ecosystem. At the same time, Soon becomes the governance token of TanglePay and IOTABI. Previously a separate token was planned for each. I myself welcome this step of unification. This step also explains why Bitforex was so quick to adopt Soon on their exchange. 
The website now also adorns the new partnerships. Garrett Jin, the brain behind TanglePay and Bitforex, becomes a committee member at Soon Labs. To top it off, a Soon Labs Medium article is a joy to read. Here, the meeting of the new members is presented and what fruits the whole thing should bear. IOTAB is mentioned above, will not distribute its own token, but soon. Sooniverse will provide 3 million Soon tokens on IOTAB as liquidity. 30% of IOTAB fees will go into the Sooniverse vault. The whole thing is expected to last at last 3 years. The Soon rewards from mining will be locked for 12 months if claimed. A new module of TanglePay will be introduced called the TanglePay messaging system. This will allow us all to communicate with each other. 100,000 Soon tokens will be distributed to TanglePay NFT holders. Bombastic development. Vrom found an interesting article on Decrypt. So Europe will introduce energy efficient labels for blockchains. And we know exactly who should be at the top. IOTA is among one of the most efficient DLTs blockchains on the market. Reasonate Finance becomes a member of the Touchpoint program. Reasonate Finance was mentioned by me in the episode before. There they afford their support to present it and offer customers the IOTA or Shimmer network. They want to bring the F NFTs into Shimmer. Bankers Consulting published the new thickest part of their DeFi learning walks, this time with the topic of tokenomics. The video on YouTube has already been made available. Mobi has not been in touch with IOTA for a long time, but now there is a pilot project with the project Citopia. The pilot project is supposed by major companies including IOTA. First tests are set for August 2022. How much exactly IOTA technology and what exactly is in it cannot be found out. But we'll keep an eye on it all. There's also a new learning video from Kumar again. This time we'll learn how to send a microtransaction in two minutes. Since the Shimmer release, new tokens explode around. Sense and nonsense of some of these tokens we can discuss with pleasure in the comments. But with this rush, also coming the listing, IOTA B tweets the opening of the marketplace and published a blog article around the topic. In this, they presented the requirements for the listing and at the same time they also warn. Before you invest in any meme coin, research probably and be really sure you have where you put your money. Do not be blinded by large and exaggerated percentage of return because you can lose everything. On the 3rd of November, Vault ID will finally present Log in with IOTA. You can register for the presentation for free. This will open many new doors. Lendex will start the public sale on the 3rd of November. For anyone interested in tokenomics, you can find it on the website. I also hope we finally see something tangible. After all the ups and downs around Lendex, some in the community are no longer satisfied. Let's hope that everything will change for the better and Lendex will deliver what they promised us. For all those interested in Amnesia Cash, the project tweets and invites everyone to the Discord. Well, there you can participate in alpha testing. The protocol group published an update about their work. In the near future, it will be more about writing papers and publishing them, which can take a long time for those who have already written a paper. We can look forward to a paper on mana burning soon. Simulations around mana have also been done. Muan Delo again found a patent, this time filled by Continental Automotive. This very Conti everyone knows from dead tires. The patent describes sending and receiving consent information from different nodes, which is secured by a smart contract. As always, IOT is mentioned among other networks and not as the network. I almost forgot. Stronghold 1. Was finally released last week. The security models is finally ready for use and overlaps well with the messaging from the Vault ID and the login with IOTA. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to enter the contest and see you next time. Bye bye.